Hello children, welcome to the online computer class. Today we are going to continue the chapter 10 tables and forms in HTML. As you know children, in our previous session we have learned how to create a table. Today we are going to continue with the topic attributes of the table tag. So we'll see how we apply different attributes to make our table more attractive. Attributes of the table tag. The table tag has many attributes which help in defining formatting parameters for a table like width of the entire table, alignment, cell border, etc. We can also include a caption tag inside the table tag to specify the caption of the table. In our previous session children, when we had created a table, we created table without any caption. Now today we will learn how do we give the name to our table with the help of caption tag. Border. This attribute draws a border around the table it specifies the width of the border of a table. If border attribute is not specified with a table or its value 0, then no border will be displayed around the table. As you have learned in the previous session, children, we did not use any attribute with the table. You saw table appeared on the screen in the form of tabular form, but without any border. So the larger the value, the thicker will be the border. Example, how we'll write the attribute of the table. So we'll write the table tag and then we will write the border here. This is the attribute of the table. And is, is equal to, we'll give the width, how much broad uh, width we want of our table. So that value we should write in the double code. If there is no value here, then automatically computer will take, HTML page will continue it with as a value by default 1. So the default border size of a table, if you do not specify, then it will be 1 pixel. So this is the, this value is in pixels, 1 pixel, 2 pixels. So here it is pixel 4. Now borders, this border color, the border color attribute is used to set the color of table's border. Example, table border is equal to 4. So here, border color is equal to red. In this uh, attribute, this is the attribute and the value here you can write any color name. Red, blue, green, whatever you want. In case if you want to give some another different type of color so you can pick the color from the net so that means you can write in the hexadecimal code or RGB code so let me show how can we do this is the color picker you just type in the search box here color picker then you will get this window over here in this you can Choose any color of your choice and just copy the code from here. In There are many codes, hexadecimal codes, RGB, CMYK, HSB and HSL. So I, if you want to copy the hexadecimal code, just simply drag your mouse on it and say copy and then you paste it in your HTML coding. So this way you can make write the color code in your coding so let us see create a table let's create a table with border and border color attribute so here you see in this table children the border size applies applies only to the outside table border the inner cell will have a cell border that is always only one pixel thing thick so you can change the width of the outer border but this will be 
only one pixel so let us create the table here i have notepad and i have created already one table here now let us see how we will uh, create the use the attribute different attributes of html let us run this program first and see its result then we will try to make changes on it so let me save this file with html code so i have written already day2 dot html on the desktop and let us save and let us see what is the result of it so this is the result of the this simple plain table now today we will learn in this how to put the caption on it and how to create border and how to apply border color so let us go back and make a changes in our coding so let us try now as you see html head title is table and then head close body and then table so here we want to create a border around our table so we will give the attribute border b o r d r border is equal to now let's say 4 okay so this way we have given a border to it now let us run this program first we will save and now see the border has appeared so by default its color is black okay and you can see the inner cells are having only one pixel thick border this is the result of our border now let us go and see and change the color of the border so let us apply the another attribute border color border color is equal to now let's say red red okay so here i have given the red color let us see let me save the file and now run the so see the border color has come red and width is 4 4 pixel this way you can see how table appeared on the screen now let us use the another tag today that is caption so it is not a attribute it is a tag so caption tag we use within the table tag means outside the table tag but it should not written between the body and table it should be between the table and tr okay so we'll use caption and now let's say border i'll give the heading example of border the heading which i have given that is example of border let's see how it's work okay now let us save and see the result yes so can you see the caption appeared on the top of your table so this way children you see how the table appeared on the screen so you can zoom your table from here this way by default table always come at the top left corner by default its position is always top left corner because i wanted to show you in the big so i have zoomed it so this way i hope children all of you have learned and practice this and write its coding in your notebook thank you children